They were stolen more than a decade ago. Two priceless works by Vincent van Gogh, considered by many to be one of the great masters of the art world, and discovered inside a home belonging to an alleged mafia boss not far from Naples during a police operation against the Camorra group. The paintings were stolen in 2002 from the museum dedicated to the artist in Amsterdam in the Netherlands. It was an audacious robbery, with the thieves using a ladder to get onto the roof before smashing a window and using a rope to enter and leave the heavily fortified building, enabling them to get past security. Two men were jailed for their part in the theft, but the whereabouts of the works up until now had been a mystery. You couldn't have sold these pictures on the open market if you had stolen them, that you'd be stuck with them because anyone would have recognised them and you would have been arrested. So they had no open market value, as you say. Now, that doesn't mean they have no value whatsoever on the black market, but it's incredibly low. It's a fraction of the true value. So you might be looking at, say, 5 7% of that value. Seascape at Scheveningen is one of only two seascapes by Van Gogh and is considered a fine example of the Impressionists' early work. Van Gogh painted congregation leaving the Reformed church at Nuenen for his mother. In spite of their long disappearance, the damage to the paintings is said to be minimal. It's unclear when they'll go back on display in Amsterdam, a moment the museum must have only dared to hope would happen one day. Emma Hayward, Al Jazeera.